Okay, for this exercise, we're going to get it on the ball again, except we're going to reverse the position with our arms. So once again, if you need to choke up on the ball, we'll do so. So if you need to choke up on the ball, take some of that weight off. There you go. So you want to do three sets of 12 to 15. Okay, this is a next, this next exercise is basically a push-up. What we're going to do is isolate different muscles at different times. And so you want to take either, you can use your ball, you can use this if you have it. If not, you can use a weight. So I'm going to use my ball. You're basically going to get in the push-up position and just do push-ups. And then you're going to switch it. Trying to go as low as you can with good form. If you need to start out on your knees, go ahead and start out on your knees. And as you get stronger, you want to maybe, for instance, you can do four or five on your toes, and then do four and five on your knees to get a full set of, tw of 10 to 12, per se. So you want three sets of maybe 10 to 12, and you want to try and get the entire set in to burn out. Okay, for this next set, we're going to get on the ball, and you get it, you're going to need your ball and your dumbbells. You want to get as far forward as you can, pushing your rear end up, and basically, all you're doing is a press. Keeping your rear end up, breathing when you go up, breathing in when you go down, keeping good form. Keeping your rear end and your core tight. So you want to do 12 to 15, and you want to do that three times. And joining us, we also now have my seven-month-old, this is Javier, <laughs> and we have my six-month-old, or my two-year-old also demonstrating said exercises. Okay, <laughs> what we're going to do now is work our triceps. You want to be seated, and you want to go back. This also doesn't take a lot of weight. You can start with five pounds and then work up. You want to do three sets of 12 to 15. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is curls. Very, very simple. You want to balance, you want to use this as a fulcrum as your, what is this called? Pivot point. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start over. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is curls. We're going to use our leg as our pivot and isolate. Go down, up, down, up. Same with this side. You want to isolate. Use your leg. Down, up. Down, up. Breathing, using good form. Do not compromise weight for form. So if you have to go down in weight, go ahead and do that until you can keep proper form. You want to do three sets of 12 to 15. Okay, the next exercise, we're, next group of exercises we're going to do is start getting into abs. And so what we're going to do is start on the floor. Keep the ball in between your legs. You're going to lift it, grab it with your hands. Not letting your feet or your hands touch the ground. Keeping your legs and your arms tight. Grab. Not letting your feet or your hands touch the ground. If you need to start without the ball. So you might need to start doing three sets of ten of just these. And then once you start strengthening your core, you can do three sets of ten with the ball. This exercise is to work your, your rear end and your hamstrings and your back. What you're going to do is lay on the ball, kind of choke up, actually you want to get in this position, and lift your butt up, lift up your legs, and it's <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> okay, so you want to do three sets 
of 12 to 15. This exercise we're going to do is an ab exercise. <laughs> you're going to lean back, put as much of your upper body back without you falling back, and you're going to cross over. This is really good for working your lower abs and working the abs that you yeah. use that get stretched during childbirth and pregnancy. So you want to do one, you want to do like uh, three sets of 12 to 15 on each side. This ab exercise is also, it's very easy. If you wanted to do it, you can lean back as far as the ball you can and just do sit-ups. And you want to do probably, you know, three sets of 15 because this is pretty easy. So the other extra exercise is also an ab. What you're going to do is get in a, get in a sit up, a push up position on your elbows, lift your rear end up and time it. So you want to time this position. I would start with 30 seconds and the stronger you can get, you can go to a minute to a minute and a half. So three sets of 30 seconds or three sets of a minute. This is the next exercise. You want to use the ball or you can use a three to five pound weight. You can use the ball. You're going to start in the same position as you did when you had the big ball. You want to push your legs together and your arms together. Up, down, not letting your hands or your feet touch the ground. Back up, down. Up, down. Three. Four. So you get the point. You want to do three sets of 12 to 15. Next thing you want to do is a time to all sit. And there's Javier. He's also been working out. So you just want to put your legs together in a sitting position, keeping your back straight, holding it as long as you can. <laughs> so you want to time it. Start with maybe 30 seconds, three sets of 30 seconds if you need to do 15 seconds, because I can tell you this is very hard. And we're good. Next thing you're going to do are slow squats. You can either do this holding weights or without weights. My suggestion is to start without weight because it is, it is a more difficult exercise, but you're just going to count 10 very slow, count 10 up. So you can use a watch or you can just have a partner or just kind of gauge yourself. Putting your arms up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, squeezing your glutes, five, four, three, two, one. And you want to do three sets of ten. So the slower the better, but also the slower the harder. This is the last exercise I'm going to show you. Once again, when you look through all these, you can couple the, the muscle groups that I kind of did um, as we went into four or five groups at a time. So each one you want to do, you know, 12 to 15 reps at, and you want to do three sets. The next thing we're going to do are lunges. So what I would suggest is if you want to hold weights, you can. Three to five, 10, 15 pounds, whatever you can do. And you want to lunge. Lunge, keeping your back straight, using your glutes to push. You want to keep it, when you, want, when you lunge, you want your knee, you do not want your knee to go past your toe. So make sure you push your leg out far enough so that your knee does not go past your toe. So you want to do 20 because it would be 10 on each leg. So three sets of 20. Okay, the last, that, this is coupled in with that last exercise. You can do side lunges. So you can just basically do lunges side to side. You can hold weights here. <laughs> you can hold weights or you can do it with no weights. So you want to do three sets of 20. This, is con this concludes my workout video. So I hope that whoever uses this, specifically Adam and Kelly, this is helpful. These are a lot of the exercises I've been doing for a long time and it helps keep toned, it helps lose that baby fat or just get you in shape in general. So I hope this is beneficial and we're good. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Brian, I am Aaron's husband and I wanted to add on additional exercise bonus material. Uh, as you can see down here, Aaron demonstrated uh, a couple of uh, barbells, 10 pounds over here, honey. <laughs> okay, um, and then we also have the eight pound medicine ball. Uh, but what we're looking for in this exercise is called a baby thrust. <laughs> and if you, you can find any kind of baby you want, preferably about 20 pounds in weight. Um, it can be any color baby, any temperament. This one will do. Um, so what you do is you hold the baby out under the armpits and you hold like this and go, remember to breathe. In and out. 
You want to do that about 15 to 20 times or until the baby fills his diaper. <laughs> Thank you.